Well, hello there. Welcome back to Nails by Sora. Um, I am going to be doing a dip process. Can you believe it? Can you stand it? It's amazing. The manicure is amazing. I had so much fun with it. I did not realize that it was a glow manicure, which is why this is called Sparkling Glow, because I'm using Sparkling Co. companies, and one of them is a glow dip, and I found that out after I took my hand out of the, um, out of the, the, the lamp. Uh, later on in the manicure, I'm going to be doing some nail art, which is why there is also some gel polish involved and why there's a UV lamp involved. Um, and yeah, so I wouldn't have realized it was a glow dip until I went to go to bed that night and realized that my nails glowed. But, um, so this is, as I said, a standard dip process and I'm using Azura Beauty Dips. It is an Amazon company and it is the first dip company that I used back in January of last year. Can't believe it's almost a full year already that I've been doing um, my own manicures. Um, I just bought the first thing that I found on Amazon that had colors that I liked and it happened to be Azura Beauty. And I honestly haven't had any problems with their products since. They're the, the liquids are the most reliable that I've used. Um, they're one of the most more uh, cost-effective companies that I've used. And it's the only brand of dip liquids that I've used so far that don't get contaminated when I use them. There are a lot of companies out there that, uh, while their products are very good, they're very finicky and easy to cross-contaminate. Um, here I'm showing you that I'm doing two coats of each dip, so I went and did the first coat. Now I'm waiting two minutes and I'm going to go and do the second coat. But um, yeah, so they're one of the mo uh, more reliable companies that I've ever used in, in terms of dip liquids. So I will link their information down below as well as the uh, information on the products that I'm using. Unfortunately, the colors that I'm using are not available because I do a lot of subscription bags and um, mystery bag orders, and usually mystery bag orders are, in effect, closeout sales. That's them getting rid of products that they're not selling on their website anymore. So when I do that, when I use those colors, it's more of a, um, let me show you process and let me show uh, give you ideas for nail art versus look at these colors go out and buy them because unfortunately they're not available but right now I'm going in with the second coat um, the blue that I have bluish purple that I have on my thumb forefinger and pinky is the glow color the white is a mica based um, shimmer which tends to be a little bit more messy in terms of the dip powders that uh, you can use because it's very soft and it gets um, all over the cuticle, but it does clean off very easily and it doesn't stain, or at least none of the colors that I've used thus far do stain. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the second coat. I'm going to let it rest again for another two minutes and then I'm going to activate it. When I go and activate it, I'm going to do two coats of activator on all of my fingers, let that rest for two to three minutes before I, um, um, what's it called, uh, buff and reshape my nails, and then I will pick up the process from there because I'll be switching from dip process to uh, gel so that I can do the nail art.
Alrighty, I'm back. And I have two methods in which I usually do nail art. Um, I actually did think of it when I was doing this design. It's a very straightforward design. Um, probably one of the more simple ones that I have done. Um, but I have, um, oh, what's it called? Um, gel, um, paint. Um, <laughs> why can't I think of it? Um, basically little pots of, uh, thicker gel, which, um, you use to do nail art. I believe it's gel paint. Uh, but I have one that, that's gold with flex that looks very similar to uh, the Bonnie B um, powder that I'm using that I could have gone in and used. But this one is more of a champagne gold. It's a little bit less gold and more, um, I'd say, white gold. And I find for my preferences, I generally don't like yellow gold on my nails. Um, I find it has kind of a green cast to it, so I chose this because it's more of a, uh, like I said, champagne uh, gold. And that's me making a mess and getting it all over the place. But I was trying to spread out the cupcake liner so that I could lay my finger into it, and it just popped and went all over the place. But basically what I'm doing is the pot in the background is... A brand called D Gel. It's a Korean uh, pump action uh, based up, uh, kind of like a builder belt, builder gel consistency, which I've used before. But since it is a bit thicker, it really doesn't move as much, and I prefer to use it for uh, detailed uh, nail art. So what I'm doing is I'm coating my brush with it. I'm using an ultra thin liner by Cocoist, which is a Japanese uh, company, and I'm going to just draw a line up my thumbnail. And so on the blue nails, I'm going to do just a straight line that I'm then going to dust with the gold. And then on my middle finger and my ring finger, I'm going to use a dotting tool to make little hearts, which I'm also going to coat in the, uh, the dust, the, um, the fine glitter. Fine glitter fine like champagne glitter um so yeah i'm just laying my finger in it i don't know why i didn't just pour over um that i think that's actually what i'm going to start doing now because laying my finger in wasn't working so i'm going to have the cupcake liner there and i'm just going to use it to catch the glitter um and then uh, do a full 90 second cure brush off the excess base and top coat and cure it i believe it can be done using dip liquids as well uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to it's just like a standard dip process but for some reason i decided to use um, gel liquids so that's what's going to go on from here on out i'm going to fin i'm sorry my hand is uh out of camera range i don't know um, what was going on, but basically it's the same process that I did on my thumb, uh, drawing a straight line, pouring over with the glitter, and then doing a full 90 second cure. Um, I went ahead and I recorded the closing, my closing statements live. So I'm going to put on some music and let you watch the rest of this. Um, you can, I have a little video of my hands glowing at the end for your amusement and enjoyment. And thank you so much for watching. Um, give me a like, please give me a like and a subscribe. It really does help my channel a lot. I'm so close to a hundred followers. Uh, by the time you see this, hopefully I will be over a hundred. I think I'm at 93 right now. I'm not sure. I have to check. But um, yeah, so that's a really exciting benchmark. I'm really uh, benchmark. I'm really um, excited for that. But um, yeah, so please give me a like and a subscribe and a ring that bell so that you'll receive notifications whenever a new video drops. I'm going to be ramping up the videos going into the holiday season with lots of nail art ideas. And I got the Madam Glam 
advent calendar so I'm going to use that for Christmas uh, Christmas designs for Hanukkah designs for general winter uh, seasonal designs um, I hope to have a lot of more a lot more content coming to you shortly so stay tuned and I will see you at the end of the video
am popping back in here to finish this manicure live. Um, I had no idea that the blue was glow in the dark. That was a surprise when I took my hand out of the lamp. Um, as you can see, and as I probably said in the um, in the dub, in the dub dub, um, in the voiceover, that um, I decided to finish off with a little bit of nail art. Um, I've been doing nail art for so long now that just doing plain nails seems kind of like, what, that's it? So I uh, just did simple lines and some hearts in uh, gold by Bonnie B and I love it. I think it came out great. Um, I think um, this heart, the other hearts came out a little bit better than this one. This one kind of lost its uh, indentation at the top, but that's okay, I'm not mad about it. And um, so that's gonna be the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the I'm not exactly sure what the next manicure is going to be, or at least what's going to come after this one. But when I know, I will let you know. Thank you for stopping by. As always, please leave a uh, comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions, or requests. Um, or questions. Uh, all the information on the products I use will be in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.